So I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada, um, and my parents let me keep all sorts of creatures, all kinds of pets, um, and of course, different insects and ants. And I find ants are one of the most unique organisms, really. Um, and their degree of sophistication and, syst and systems, really, are uh, really mind-blowing. Uh, so, I started the channel to show others that, just how awesome ants are and how cool ant keeping is. And then, um, eventually I moved to Manila, Philippines in 2011. And um, it was here where I discovered there are ants everywhere. So most of the channel's content from then on was basically ants that I had collected from here in the Philippines. I've been keeping ants now for around, I would say, 15 years. Like seriously keeping ants. Um, and uh, here in the Philippines, I've been here now for nine years and I'm still intrigued and I haven't uh, kept all the species that there are to keep because there are thousands of species here in the Philippines of ants and um, I just have several of them here but I look forward to collecting more um, and discovering more and more just how awesome the ant biodiversity is here in the Philippines. Ant keeping is sort of a an educational hobby. The hobby basically is keeping ant colonies in a container and keeping them as pets and then providing the colony um, everything that they need um, in terms of resources, so they would need food, space, um, water, uh, temperature requirements, humidity requirements. It's essentially like raising a city of like small people um, and ants live in societies of millions um, big metropolises so they're kind of like humans in a lot of ways so keeping ant colonies is very much like keeping uh, a city of humans people who um, think of biology they think of like the big stuff the elephants the dolphins the birds you know, um, the lions out in Africa. Uh, but there's also a lot of life in the micro world, which I've discovered more and more filming for um, the Ants Canada channel because the more sophisticated equipment that I would buy and the closer we could look at the life contained in the glass, the more we realized just how teeming with life um, these soil environments are. I think one of the biggest challenges uh, that ant keepers face is <laughs> the world not seeing ants as pests. Because right now, most of the world sees ants as pests, especially Dito sa Pilipinas. I mean, ants are in your house. Like, why would you want to keep them in, 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 in setups? Because, you know, they live with us. They're pests. People want them out. We have tons of products that are designed to kill ants. One of my missions of the Ants Canada channel is to show the world that there's more to ants, that there are actually uh, ant species that are not pests, that don't live in homes, that go on to live lives, they live their best lives going out, raising colonies of their own, and there's a, you know, they have very intricate systems, they deal with the same problems humans do. Um, and I think once people get a peek, into their private lives and get to appreciate like wow 
ants are very cool. I think once people see that, um, ant keeping will explode. I believe the ant keeping community is growing now in the Philippines. I know many ant keepers here in the Philippines, um, and there are several groups that have, you know, established on social media, on Facebook. There are ant keeping groups that have meetups and they even bring their ant colonies to um, exotic conventions and that sort of thing. So it's really, really neat. Um, look, kami no mga ant enthusiast na we don't want to get involved sa illegal pet trade. And then we band together, organize ourselves. And then, ito na kami na they invite na kami ngayon sa isa sa malaking convention which is itong International Farmer Summit. I think it's an exciting time for the world of myrmecology um, and especially Filipinos because you know us Filipinos we're on social media so much so um, what I would love to see is first of all the ant keeping hobby expand it would be great if people understood symbiosis for example and why it's important and you know how Ants have symbioses with different organisms, including people. Um, you know, ants help break down our waste. They help break down our dead bodies. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're very interconnected. It would be great if bioliteracy would elevate um, in the masses. That would be great to see um, as a result of ant keeping and all these eyes watching ants. Um, and also, second of all, I would love for people who do keep ants to share their findings online. Um, in this age of social media, we've got this awesome info sharing tool that is free and accessible to pretty much everybody. So upload your videos, um, post all your findings in forums, uh, you know, start YouTube channels on your ant colonies. It would be great to see. Um, and that really is, is what I would love for the ant keeping community to contribute um, in terms of science and mainstream science.